Living on this land, I learned that compost and mulch are everywhere in nature. Any organic materials that disintegrate or rot can be an ingredient for compost, and anything that blankets the soil can be considered a form of mulch, such as grass or fallen leaves. But of course, pending the situation, some materials are more suitable than others. One of my favorite materials for compost and mulch is grass clipping from mowing the field. I used to buy bark mulch and manure many years ago and put them in my garden. But now I like to use whatever this land gives me instead. Plus it's always free. This is how I used to collect them. I let the fresh grass dry under the sun for a few days. Then I found this tow behind attachment for my mower, a long sweeper, it's a real time saver. So I just drive around the field and it collects for me. I use the dry clippings as mulch in my garden and the orchard, the rest goes in the compost. Mulching around plants has many benefits, it not only keeps the weeds at bay, it also provides a place for beneficial insects to hide. It makes the soil not so hot in the daytime and not so cool at night, while conserving water from evaporation. And as it rots, it becomes nutrient for plants. It's like composting right in the soil. Since I don't have any farm animals, I realize cultivating the land without manure is feasible and uncompromising if I can make good quality compost. Wood ash is an excellent amendment to compost. It contains micronutrients. It's like a vitamin dose for the soil. It also regulates the acidity of the compost pile. So when mixed with fresh kitchen scraps, they don't smell as they rot. Another abundant material is wood chips from branches. And there's always something that needs pruning around here. So instead of burning them all, I chip them to add to the compost pile. It gives the compost bulk and makes them nice and fluffy. But I avoid adding branches from evergreens because they don't rot as fast. I like this three compartment compost design because I never have to tilt it. I put the materials in the first bin and when that is full I start using the second bin and when that is full as well I move on to the third bin. By that time the first bin will have compost ready for use. Uh, life is too short for tilting compost piles. Instead, I spend time getting my beds ready for the compost. I mix the compost into the soil, then I level it, and now I'm ready to sow some seeds. This homemade jig I made is super handy when I sow my seeds. It makes a perfect quarter inch indent in the soil, 
which is the ideal debt for most seeds to germinate. For seeds that need deeper depth, I push them down a little before covering them with soil. What I love about this way of sowing seeds is, when the seeds start to sprout and poke through the soil, I can easily spot them among other competing weeds, since it's a straight line. It just makes everything easier, including weeding and applying mulch. And it makes me look like a professional, 